Two types of motivation. One will create you and the other will break you. Choose wisely. My name is Nuruddin. I'm a medical student studying here in the UK. As a student, I find it hard to motivate myself to study, to make videos. So I needed a system to figure out how to optimize that strategy, how to make it as useful, as easy as possible to start working, to make a video. And I figured out that there are two types of motivation, internal and external external is the one that you feel when somebody pumps you up like after watching a david goggins video or elon musk talking or after going to a get rich quick seminar this type of motivation is easy it's cheap dopamine and also it's a waste of your time because as soon as you get it you feel great you feel powerful like i could do anything but then suddenly came so quickly it disappears so quickly wears off like that and just like any other addiction, you're gonna need more and more and more until you're right back where you started. You'll just be dependent on it. You're gonna need more and more each time, meaning that you are never gonna get any work done because you are never going to reach that level of motivation from external motivation. The other type, on the other hand, is internal motivation. This means that it comes from inside, not outside. You create it within you, such as the motivation for a father to provide for his family or a fireman to rescue a child from a burning building. This type of motivation is much harder to create because it has to have something backing it. In the case of the father, it is that bond of fatherhood between father and son or daughter. In the case of the fireman, it is the sense of duty to protect those that need help. And that is the main difference between the two motivations, external, it just needs you to sit down, sit back down and do nothing to get motivated. While the other one is built on very strong ideals. Therefore, to create internal motivation, you need a purpose. You need a mission to drive you, to help you conquer. And it can be a multitude of things from religion to fatherhood to a sense of duty. Either way, you have to choose internal over external motivation. But why is it that we prefer external? Why is it that I struggle to motivate myself internally and yet I can watch a YouTuber put his inspirational music behind some emotive lecture and suddenly I feel like I can run 10 miles. I can go build a computer. I can flip and do a backflip. But when I was trying to motivate myself, it's just like, ugh. Oh my days, oh, I really don't want it. Why is that? And I'm gonna tell you why. External motivation is easy. It gives you instant gratification. Gratification means fulfillment and happiness when you get something. There are two types of gratification. Instant gratification is like drugs. You take a pill, pop, ah, ah. I'm happy now. And the opposite of instant gratification is delayed gratification. That is the good type. Delayed gratification is like going to the gym. When you go to the gym for the first time, you're probably gonna puke. Your muscles are gonna be sore. You're gonna be so tired. You're gonna hate it. You're never gonna wanna go gym again. But if you persist, if you carry on day by day, week by week, month by month, it won't take you six months before you see massive changes in your physique. You'll have muscles like these, you'll have abs. People will be staring at you, be like, like, what happened to you? Oh, you glowed up big time. You're gonna get comments like that. That is delayed ratification. What is better? Having momentary pleasure, temporary, that disappears, pops in a cloud of happiness, and suddenly you're back where you started, if not lower, because you miss it. Or delayed gratification, where you have to work for it, where you have to put the time, put the effort, you have to fight tooth and nail to get it. And then when you get it, when you get it, you have earned it by the skin of your teeth. Is that a saying? No, obviously instant gratification is the better one. We can all agree we would much rather sit there and do nothing and get everything that we could ever want. Unfortunately, the world doesn't work like that. Unfortunately, in this life, you have to work very hard for things. Obviously, there are shortcuts. By implementing systems, by making it so that you only have to work a little bit every single day, that is a shortcut. Because suddenly the task doesn't seem so big anymore. Suddenly, if you break the task into tiny, tiny, tiny little bits, 
suddenly it becomes a lot more manageable. And that is a clue as to how we're gonna achieve internal motivation. Basically, the reason people prefer the external motivation is because it's quick, easy, requires no effort. Or if I told you that we can get internal motivation for the same price, if not better, all you have to do is have a mission. Have something in your life that you want to achieve. It could be anything. Maybe you wanna be a great tennis player. Maybe you wanna work in a tech company. Maybe you wanna be a doctor. That's it, that right there is now your whole personality. From here, all you have to do is take little steps every single day to reach your goals. Every time you feel like you want to give up, just think back to that mission. Think back to the benefit you're going to get when you get that mission. And not only that, think of the benefits you're getting now. When I go to the gym, I feel good. Even if I don't have abs yet, even if I'm really sore, I feel good about myself because I accomplished something. I didn't just lay in bed all day like a waste man. I actually did something that day. Come on, G. Whoa. Celebrate even your small wins. You create internal motivation simply by setting a distant goal and doing small steps towards it. Capiche? Click this link here where I teach you how to have enormous self-belief. If you like this sort of content, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. My name is Nouruddin and I will see you later.